Hello, hello everyone, Phoenix61 here with Skull and Bones, the Elder Shadow Beast has finally arrived here in Season 3, right? So this is a very dragon-like creature that is pretty cool, like I'm actually quite enjoying uh, this fight and this, uh, yeah, this creature, right? So, um, you can pick this mission up at um, the uh, hunt, Sea People Huntmaster in Lenitra, right? But, it, you know, like... With everything with Season 3 now, they've made some really nice changes where you basically just go do the fight and then um, it'll it'll give you the contract, right? So he does drop some lightning scale things ever, you know, as you do some damage to him here and there. And then this is also how you're going to get the, I think called, they're called like lightning claws or something like that as well. Um, you'll want to fight this guy so that way you can craft Heaven's Mandate. Those are new guns, they're new regular style culverns as well. So I'll show you where those are, how to get those, and whether or not they're good or not, right? Um, but yeah, he, you know, he, this is probably the easiest moment to get him is when he's doing this like straight by you flyby that he does. Um, he does some other like awkward movements and attacks where it's not as not as easy to get hits on him. And then I am using long guns. I'm actually using the I always forget what they're called, but the lightning long guns that are come that come from the Smuggler's Pass this season for season three, right? Um, and they work pretty good against him. Um, so I would recommend. I haven't played around with um, you know like fighting him with different weapon types, um, but long guns seem to be working quite well. So I'll probably do that for a little bit while we um, you know get get the materials we need. I do like the intro and outro right for this beast, right? He comes out from under the water in the beginning. I'll show you the full fight um, in a little bit here, or up next actually. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, we get in the lightning dragon claws. That's what I was thinking. And then yeah, this is called divine retribution. So if you see it at the bounty board or at the sea people hunt master in Lenitra, right? You can pick it up there, but you know, like I said, you don't really have to do that anymore. Um, so with season three, you can just kind of fast travel to events as they are happening or as they are starting and then, um, you know, have at it, right? So then you also get a um, chest from this when you turn the mission in as well, which I think also dropped some materials for me also. So we'll check that out right here. But yeah, here's the fight. Or actually, this is a completely different battle, but so we'll see this one from start to finish here, right? So... Here he comes up out of the water, which I think is really cool, and I accidentally looked away. <laughs> and then there, there also is an easier um, variant of this. Um, there's the, the Elder Shadow Beast, and then there's the regular Shadow Beast, similar to how um, Lestari was, right? I think there's some spots underneath him that are uh, prone to like, you know, count as like the critical hits. Um, but I was having a tough time, honestly, it's like having a tough time just aiming, just hitting him in general, right? So it's probably not worth, you know, taking too much extra time to actually hit those critical spots. He seems to take plenty of damage just from regular hits as well. And then, yeah, the long guns are just really nice for easy aiming since he's up in the sky, right, versus down on the ground. I think pretty much anything, um, uh, you know, just most weapon types are going to work here. Like, you probably could use bombards. I think I took down the regular variant of this. I think I had bombards on, and, and we were getting some decent hits as well. And then also I had regular culverns on when I was doing that fight also. Um, but I, I would recommend, you know, long trying long guns first. They seem to be the easiest to aim and get those bigger hits. Uh, versus culverins, you kind of are, are lobbing them up <laughs> towards him. So he does do this for a little while where he circles around and kind of spazzes out up in the clouds. Um, and then basically there's lightning attacks happening, you know, down here on the surface that... I don't really know if it's worth even trying to dodge them. They didn't seem to be, you know, I mean, we are in a level 13 ship, right? But um, they didn't seem to be doing too much damage. They're just kind of more of a nuisance. And then, yeah, I wasn't really able to hit him while he was doing that. Um, and it actually, like, lasted 
like it lasts quite long like to the point where I was like oh man is it glitching out and I'm not gonna be able to finish this <laughs> uh, fight but he does come back down and I fought him a few times and that does seem to be like a repeat normal thing for him to be uh, swimming around up there in the sky for a while so you just have to be patient deal with the um, lightning attacks that are coming down right so you can get lit on fire and get the electrocute status effect right so restoration kits we just use one there so I recommend bringing those I mean I you know I always feel like I know you guys that are watching my channel regularly you hear me say it all the time I feel like restoration kits are kind of underused right so um, but super super valuable for get rid of status effects right so yeah see we got a critical hit there and I wasn't even sure exactly where we hit him <laughs> But yeah, very, very cool fight. Very excited about this. I do think he's a little bit easy to do, right? So I was trying to see if I could solo him, so I didn't do a call for help on this one, but uh, one or two people, I think there was already one person here, right? Like it's a brand new, you know, mission, brand new monster fight, right? So like people are gonna wanna do it, right? But um, yeah, it was a yeah, good hit there right in his face. And then, yeah, he only has these, like, he has, like, this attack, and then he's got one where, and then, of course, all the, like, lightning, too. Um, and then there's one where he just kind of, like, plows through the area and, like, breathes fire down on anything in the path as well. So they're pretty, pretty cool attacks, but he wasn't really, I didn't feel too, like, desperate at any one moment for, like, health or anything, so... Um, I'm actually kind of like a little little disappointed in the difficulty level like granted we play this you know I play this game quite a bit so maybe for others will be a little bit more challenging but and then you know like maybe we just brought the right tools as well right like we're using long guns and they're working really really good so I was trying to hit him I have um what is it the warhammer on here and I was trying to I, you can get him get you can get hits with the rockets but um, yeah, I mean, and that's probably your best bet for an Ox weapon if you're doing a build specifically for fighting the Shadow Beasts. Um, yeah, and then this is, like, good opportunity here to get hits on him when he kind of just does this drive-by. I think he's just doing some, like, lightning attacks and that's it. But that's usually your best bet is to get those shots off there. And then he goes up into the sky and then falls back down into the water. So very cool. I was uh, thoroughly enjoying the, the fight. And then this will give us even more of the, um, yeah, we get the lightning dragon scales. I'm not sure if, I, if you need those yet for anything that you can craft. I can't remember. Um, but it's the uh, the uh, the claws, right? The lightning dragon claws. Those are the uh, the thing we've been waiting for so far this season um, to be able to craft the new culverns, the Heaven's Mandate, right? So this is in Lenitra, right? So you can pick up and turn in this mission here. And like I said, you know, you don't really have to pick the mission up anymore. You can just go fight it when it's available. And then turn in here. So nice. it's the one that's called Divine Retribution. And we're getting 500 eights and another 50 of those imperial green gem things as well, right? So we'll turn this in and then I'll open up the chest to see what we get. I think we ended up just getting more of the like dragon claws and like some materials or something, right? Blessings of Razan be upon you. Oh, we got it. This uh, a mysterious chest. Okay. Well, it is unique to this because it does have lightning, dragon claw, and lightning, dragon scales. Looks like it does have a chance to get Heaven's Mandate. Um, the guns just outright. Um, but I'm going to guess that's a little bit more rare. I did this fight a handful of times and I did not get that. Usually it was something like this some silver, some. Dragon claws or dragon scales and some eights, right? So that's what we got from it. I think that was my first or second take. And then if you didn't know the, you know, the Heaven's Mandate guns, they're in here. You need to be, you need to buy the blueprint from the Huntmaster here. And they cost seven, it, it costs 75 of the monstrous teeth, right? So if you haven't been doing, um, 
you know, some monster hunting. Now it's time to jump on, on that wagon. Um, and then, yeah, you, it needs six of the lightning dragon claws as well as some other materials that are a little bit kind of, you know, that are starting to get tough to come by for these newer weapons. So it takes a little bit more now with the, now that we're on season three to uh, craft the new stuff sometimes, but it has the, you know, it does the electric damage and then its perk is this heaven's wraith where if the target is, um, you know, electrified, right, then it, there's a 15% chance to summon a lightning strike that deals 1500 damage. Um, so we will go and craft these and then I will actually put them on a ship and do a little bit of fighting with it. Um, I'll probably do a separate video on the weapons itself. This was kind of just more about the new, um, you know, the, the, the monster hunt, right? The dragon hunt, because this is what, you know, came out just today, depending on when you're watching this, right? Um, sort of the, like, I don't know if we're in, like, the, the second phase of the season three here, but there's Heaven's Mandate. So what I did is I grabbed, um, I actually crafted two, and then um, here is the um, the two dragon fights, basically, right? So there's the Divine Retribution up in the top right, and then the other one is that, we, that I showed first there, that is this regular variant of the Shadow Beast, right? So... He's got like regular blue lightning instead of red lightning. He looks just, you know, slightly different, mostly color, right? <laughs> and so I skipped ahead in this fight, so we didn't need to watch this whole fight, like right? Like this one's a little bit easier. Um, and you do get um, dragon claws from doing this guy as well. So, um, you know, if you struggle with uh, killing the, the harder version, then you could just come in and, and do this one, right? But honestly, like, if you do a call for help, like, and some, you know, right now, anyway, you know, if you're watching this video, um, you know, when it's just now coming out, like, a lot of people are going to want to do the fight, right? So you could probably go do the harder one and do a call for help, and I bet you people will show up, right? So, um, yeah, so we get some lightning dragon scales there. <clears throat> and some claws as well. Actually, so I saw the claws pop up. And then I, I tapped Y to like grab them and I was like, wait, they're not in my inventory. So then they're they're in this chest back here. So it does drop both. So you can get them. I don't know if maybe you just get a few less, right? So like maybe you'd have to do this fight a couple more times, right? If you need if you wanted enough. Yes, we got two there. So if you wanted enough to do the um, you know, to craft a heaven's mandate, right? I think you need six. Um, so I went and did, um, I went and did the, like, you know, the, the intro version of the, the boss, uh, for season three with, with these. Um, so I've got them on both sides. And so these are, you know, Heaven's Mandate with my, I haven't been using culverns in a while, so <laughs> I kind of had bad aim with them. Uh, but it looks nice too, you can always just, if you can't hit the hull, you can always aim at the sails right and do some damage to the sails and honestly that's fine too because then you're still triggering the status effect and you'd still be triggering the um, um you know the potential you have that 15 percent chance to summon the lightning strike so the reason i'm using the brig is because i think this one i think this ship has the most gun ports below deck so you get four gun ports, you know, you get your four top deck weapons, and then you also get four gun ports below deck on both sides. So you get eight cannons, right? So that's why I picked the brig for this, because then you have, you know, some of the other, even the DPS variant ships, some of them only have three weapon spots on top, and then three or four down below, or and or vice versa, right? So you only get like seven. Uh, you'd only get seven cannons, right? So here with the brig, you get eight cannons, right? Like, I mean, that one extra cannon on the broadside shot, like whether that's making a huge difference or not, you know, you could argue it's not worth it, but that's why I'm using the brig, so I'm just testing it out, right? So you get get an extra cannon on each side, and then, you you know, so that's your an extra 15% chance to um, trigger that extra lightning strike, right? So um, that's why I was doing that, and then... I was playing around with bombards on the front, and then um, I was using the Infernal Maw, like the uh, fire ox weapon, the like buoy weapon um, for the ox weapon. And so, you know, to try and do like a mix of 
pretty much every element, right? So like we've got, what, these are the thousand year monsoons in the front and back for the bombards, right? So they trigger flood and have the potential to trigger severe damage. And then Heaven's Mandate on each side is giving us, um, you know, the electric. And then the Infernal Maw is giving us fire, right? So I was kind of going for like a full on elemental, like, you know, status effect causing build. We'll shoot this level 8 enemy. You can see we almost took him out with one volley, right? Like if my aim was just a little bit better, right? So that gives you a little bit better idea of how good the, the weapons are. And like I said, like I'm gonna play around with these some more and see if, you know, see if I have a build that I like with these and then I'll put a video out on that, um, you know, on the weapons just specifically, right? I just wanted to get one out there with, you know, that was kind of highlighting the, the new boss fight, how to beat it, where to pick it up and what you can get and why you would do it, right? So um, yeah, if you're interested, uh, make sure you're following the channel, right? If you wanna see that video, cause that'll be upcoming. Um, and then make sure, you know, if you like my Skull and Bones content, make sure you drop a like on the video as well. But yeah, more important to subscribe. I'm on the struggle bus, right? So close to a thousand subscribers, guys. That's what that's what I need. That's what I need. So really do appreciate all of you that have been here through my YouTube journey. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.